everyone, it's Nicole, and I'm here with the second layout using the June Hip Kit. I'm showing you some of the stuff that I might be using. A lot of it is, um, in, all of it is from what came in the kit. There is a couple of embossing powders that came in the color add-on. And here's what I mean when I just throw everything on top of there. It doesn't mean that I'm going to use everything that's there. It just means that those are the stuff that I'm going to try to use. So here's a fancy pants, another fancy pants. Oh, no, pink paisley. And this is Ellie Studio, and that's what I'm going to use as the background. I love that striped blue. And actually, there's a couple of layouts that twice I use the same background just because I love the background. And so I guess the B side will not be used, and I'm okay with that. Um, and it's funny because I'm going to do all this, which I'm using my Versamark Dazzle on the camera, and I'm stamping it on uh, the vellum, and I'm going to add some yellow uh, yellow orange embossing powder is what came in the kit in the color add-on and uh, i'm going to do all that and then i put them aside so that they can cool off and i forget about it so i'm not going to use them on this layout but i left it in because i will be using it on another layout so these stamps are from chamel and the difference between acrylic and polymer <laughs> Polymer stamps are way better. And that's why acrylic stamps are so much cheaper. Uh, they don't stamp. They don't have the same quality of stamping that a polymer stamp does. Now, as you can tell, I stamp it on the block, but then I take it off the block because if I leave it on the block, it doesn't even take all, like, all the details of the stamp because acrylic stamps, that's just how they are. They just... They're not a good quality, but I mean, this stamp set, I think they're $1.99 retail. So, you know, you get, I guess you get what you pay for and I'm still going to use it. Uh, but that's, you know, if you look at a, a clear stamp and you wonder why one stamp set is so much more and another one is so cheap, look on it. One probably says acrylic. The other one says polymer. And polymer has a way better stamping surface and uh, so I'm going to do some I did clear embossing with the orange embossing powder and the other embossing powder was clear and what I love about clear is that if you take a pigment ink and you stamp it and then you can put clear embossing powder and then you get the color of the ink so I wanted some pink or yellow cameras so I stamped it with the uh, ink that came in the color add-on and that was I think it's yes it's called Daisy from Avery L and then I just used the white embossing powder now I didn't purchase the color add-on because I had white and orange embossing powder and whether it's from American Craft or it's from Zing or mine is Zing you know I wanted to use what I had so I just took out my embossing powder and I have so much embossing powder that I haven't used so I want to make sure that I used what I had and then I just ordered um, the yellow which is Daisy and the Raspberry from Avery L with one of my uh, Simon Says orders because I wanted to have you know what was in the color add-on because I wanted to to you because it matched so well with the kit. So this is where I put it to the side and then I forget about it, but that's okay. I'll use it on another layout. I struggled quite a bit with this layout. Uh, it took me forever. You're going to see, I'm going to walk away because at one point it's just not, it's not happening. So I just walk away and then I come back later. So I'm going to mount the photo on uh, some light blue cardstock and then I'm going to mount the whole thing on this fancy pants um, pattern paper and it's just a nice dark navy and actually when I cut those out right there I just kind of winged it and then I end up using it in a totally different way and uh, even the orange I just kind of wing wing cut it <laughs> that's not a saying but uh, and it ends up being the perfect size like I didn't even measure that and when I was playing around I'm like oh look at that the 4x6 card 
and the four by six photo fit perfectly inside that blue square and then I just randomly cut that orange and I first I think I'm going to use it this way and that's when I walk away and I'm like oh this is just not working out and when I come back I figure out a different thing I hadn't scrapbooked in so long like in a month and for me that is super long now was I in my craft room absolutely because I did a a few embellishment DIY videos that I still have a few to put up on my YouTube channel and um, I did a ton of voice voiceover and um, I tried to clear up my craft room before I left but you know on the grand scheme of things you know between having to make sure that the house was spick and span or my craft room I you know the house kind of won. I kind of did my house cleaning and then um, I was working a lot too so um, I worked the night before which was the second and then the third I, I slept and then we got up and we still had to go to town and do a bit of shopping and then we had to pack and then the next morning we got up bright and early and we left on July 4th. So we travel most of the July 4th but it was it was a good it was a good time we had a ton of fun and um, we didn't bring the dog so Josh was a little upset at first and um, then his sister his middle sister she came over here and stayed with the dog so then he felt a whole lot better so this is the next day I came back and I just all I did was flip that orange paper and I really like the way it looked so I'm going to keep it like that I'm going to trim it down maybe a half an inch because I want to put the title on the side of the cluster of photo and then the 4 by 6 card that says it's all in the details and I'm going to put the title right beside that and I want it a little snugger so that the title looks like it's a little bit more grounded I'm going to use a frame and I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to put it at the bottom and the top of the layout and I'm going to do my clusters on that and I like doing that. I like using a frame, cutting it in two or three pieces and then using it as the grounding place for my embe embellishment clusters and on this layout I'm going to use it in three spots and I like doing that or maybe, is that a different one? Yeah, I end up using a different one for the top one, but it's very, very similar. I think the top one is a sticker, but it almost looks like the same. And then I'm going through the sticker sheet and I'm using my EK Success powder tool. And I love that because what I like to do, I can't go, okay, this sticker goes here, this sticker goes there. I pull everything off that I find that coordinates and then then I start sticking it down. I just throw everything in the middle of the page and then once I find yeah I think I have enough uh, embellishments then I start saying okay this one's gonna go here there there and I divide it in between the two or three or however many clusters that I have and you know start cutting the pieces down so that I can split them up in between the clusters so now I'm starting to find that I have enough embellishments so I'm going to uh, glue down the main part of the layout and then I'm going to start putting down those uh, embellies and I'm going to do that with a combination usually I use my ATG gun and uh, my quick dry adhesive I had a few people ask me what I put in my fine line bottle it is a uh, quick dry adhesive and you have to be careful because in those bottles some of them says tacky glue and if it's it is tacky glue it does not work in the fine line adhesive bottles those bottles there I I have both because sometimes at Michaels they have one or the other and at first I didn't really know the difference now I know quick dry adhesive not tacky glue if you want to use it in the the bottle that comes from Michaels I don't find too much of a difference but to put it in those fine line bottles I find uh, when it's the tacky glue is thicker and way harder to come out of the bottle now I did buy some other fine line bottles and I'm going to try them it is with the yellow tip and I think the tip of the the metal part is 
thicker. So I'm going to try and put some of my fine, my quick dry adhesive in there and see if it comes out a little bit more. I find this one here, I have to really push on the bottle for some glue to come out. So I'm hoping that that will fix it. So while I'm gluing down those clusters, I just want to tell you a little bit about the photo. I, uh, on my Canon selfie, I put two pictures and of course, all these pictures were taken by DSLR with my DS, bleh, DSLR and it was while we were climbing Mount Washington. At, um, at the beginning, I was carrying the camera and we did quite a few hikes before this sort of as a prep for this one because this was the mother of all hikes. <laughs> it was four and a half hours long. So we did a few um, camping, no, hiking uh, days before that, which lasted between two, about two hours, between an hour and a half to two and a half hours to kind of build up our sort of our stamina to climb this mountain and to see kind of, you know, how uh, the kind of stuff that, you know, we should bring and, and all that stuff. So this was Mount Washington and my son, we did it in four and a half hours, but I'm sure if it would have been him and his dad, they probably could have done it in three hours. Yes, I slowed him down that much. But he, on the second, either photo, he's always, always at least 100 feet to 200 feet ahead of us. And he would sit down and he'd wait for me. And so anyway, you know, part way through some of our hiking I don't even think it was this day here because this was not our last hiking thing, but it was almost our last. And uh, we called him the little mountain goat and because he was no trouble. Zoom, 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 zoom up, up those rocks. And it didn't matter how steep it was. He was just boom, way up there. And um, this particular trip too, like he was always way ahead and I had to kind of, you know, give a, a, a yelp there. Josh, wait for us because, I mean, you're in nature and there's bears and, you know, so I didn't want him by himself too, too far ahead. And um, so he would stop and he'd wait for us. And so we'd meet some hikers coming down the mountain. And uh, people that are hiking are very friendly. It's awesome, you know. So everybody that came down, we talked to everybody. Anyway, there was this, you know, a few couples coming down and we'd say, did you see a teenager coming <laughs> up there? And they'd say, oh yeah, he was just hoofing it, you know, or he was just boogieing, you know, he was just going. So I wanted to make sure that I did a lay a layout about our little mountain goat, that he was just going. It's so funny because being a teenager, you know, he was like, I don't want to go hiking and I don't want, but you know what? the whole time that we were hiking he turned like his dad was behind I was in the middle always in the middle and he'd be like mom this is so, so awesome mom look at those mountains mom look at this and of course there's rivers through this and he loves rocks so he'd be looking for little shiny rocks and the kid had a blast he loved it and um so that was awesome that Oh, there's, did you see Mason's hand? I have Mason here, so he wanted to say hi. And actually, I think you're going to see there. He's, yep, there he is. He's helping me. <laughs> he wanted to help me put the letters on. There we go. It was early morning, so he still has his jammies on. So he was downstairs having breakfast with his pappy. And uh, while well, Grammy got a layout done, <laughs> it's all crooked, but... Oh man, he wanted to help Nami. So he was pretty happy that he helped. He loves scrapbooking. He loves the layouts. He loves looking and obviously he wants to help. So imagine when um, I can have my new scrap room there that I'm going to make a spot that uh, he can sit with me and he can help Nami scrap. So that'll be nice that you know when he gets older he can... Uh, help me with that and he like I said he's loving the pages but anyway back to the layout it was it was so fun that um, anyway he just so totally enjoyed climbing the mountain and he was glad that we took the train down I have to say and uh, so that was it was so much fun we did quite we didn't do everything that we wanted to do but I have to say our list was so long 
and we had to change uh, the order that we did our vacation. We wanted to go to the furthest point and then come closer and we couldn't do that because of camping. There was no camping in Normandy farms in Foxborough. They were all full so we actually had to do uh, New Hampshire first which is Mount Washington and then we went to the other spot and then we were only there for three days so we couldn't do everything we wanted to do in Boston because it rained for two of the three days we were there so uh, we didn't get to do too much but I'll be talking about all of that and then here also we didn't do everything we wanted to do because oh my goodness there was so much to do and and like I said we decided that it would, it would be a good idea to do a few hiking days prior to the big one just to kind of prep ourselves you know and I have to say being on the treadmill since January totally helped I don't know if I could have done this a year ago but it was an amazing experience and now my middle daughter wants to go with her and her boyfriend Pat they want to come with us so we'll probably go in a couple of years again and we'll probably do the things that we didn't get to do so that'll be fun now the layout is almost done I'm going to take out my Heidi swap in the navy and then I'm going to disappear for a few minutes and I'm going to uh, go get some distress stain in spice marmalade which is a nice orange and I'm going to put that on the layout too so this was like I said a fun layout to make it did take me a little bit of time and I think it's just because um, you know even though you're on vacation you do so much and when you come home you're kind of exhausted I'm kind of glad I had you know three days before going back to work <laughs> just to kind of get yourself kind of straightened out again and get to do laundry and then just kind of rest and it was kind of fun to scrapbook again because I haven't scrapbooked in a month I didn't bring any scrapbooking with me I decided that I was going to read I did manage to read a whole book and I know it doesn't sound like much but we didn't have uh, too too much downtime too so um, a bit but I didn't want to read the whole time but it was I did manage to read a whole book so uh, so that was fun so that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye